Alabama Bass Nation. It's Chris Tate with the Alabama Bass Nation so social media. Today's guest I have with me is Bethel University Wildcats head coach Gary Mason of the Best Bethel University Bass Fishing Team. Coach, I want to welcome you to the Zoom and kind of and and uh, providing us with some insights of this Bass Master Combine. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you having me on and. I look forward to hearing your questions and trying to give you a few answers. That's awesome. Now, Coach, just a little bit of history about you. Um, you've been head coach of Bethel University since 2009. So I, I guess you're one of the grandfathers of, of college fishing, and you're also a big avid outdoor, outdoorsman and, and, I guess, a professional guide. So, uh, you know, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, you're right. I started the bass team in 2009 at Bethel. We were the first college to offer scholarships for the sport of bass fishing in college. And uh, I've also been a professional hunting and fishing guide, uh, dog trainer, uh, retriever trainer, and, and outdoor rider most of my career. And that spans, you know, close to 45 years. So, uh, so I've been in the outdoors industry a long, long time. I also founded and owned the Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame, which is uh, America's largest Hall of Fame for people in the outdoors industry. Uh, that's fantastic, Coach. So, you know, I, I want to first start off, you know, by asking you why Bethel University would be a great venue, a great program for anglers uh, to get their education, but not only fish. So I want you. I want you to highlight Bethel University just overall. Well, as far as the college, it's a great place to get an education. It's a small Christian college in Northwest Tennessee near Kentucky Lake. Uh, so we have a great fishery close to us. If a athlete wants to come and and get their education there, uh, a lot of our students get business degrees. We have a PA program. We have nursing. Uh, and a lot of different other things that a uh, young student athlete can get an education in. Uh, but we also have what is considered one of the premier bass fishing programs in America. And I don't take that lightly. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, kind of been a, been a work of God to, to make sure that this happened for us. And, and uh, we're very, very proud of our program and, and proud of the young student athletes that have already graduated through our program. It's outstanding. So, you know, coach, I want to kind of transition over to the Bassmaster Combine. This is a really unique event. I'm looking, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm looking forward to grow and, and see what it becomes in the future. But can you give us a brief overview of the Bassmaster Combine as you understand it currently? Well, from what I understand, this is their first year of doing this. So, so you know, we're not, we haven't been to one and, and haven't seen it in operation. But from what I understand, it's going to be a great opportunity for high school students that fish to come and meet all the coaches uh, and, and to get on the water a little bit and get to share time with those of us who are looking to recruit some great young student anglers. Okay, so now you mentioned recruiting. As a college coach, what specific, I guess, traits, characteristics, or, you know, items are you looking for when you are recruiting a, a, for a college angler, angler to join your program? Well, I look for several things. You know, I, I look for their, their GPA. Uh, I look at, to see if they've had any community service that they've completed because community service work tells me that they're a team player. Uh, then I look, I meet the student if I'm wanting to recruit him and I have him come to the school, take a tour of the school, and then I meet him or her and uh, sit down with their parents and discuss the possibilities. And usually by that point in time, I'm able to make a decision on whether or not I want to sign that individual. Okay. So, you know, what recommendations would you give to a candidate during um, the combine process that you would like to share that maybe would help them stand out or differentiate themselves from other candidates? Well, just be truthful and be honest about, uh, about what you've done in your fishing career. Uh, you know, don't try to overstate 
the things that you've done. Uh, you know, there's there's a there's a small minute line between bragging and and telling about yourself and and uh, so just be honest with each one of the coaches and uh, you know that's that's what we're looking for. We're looking for honest, upstanding young athletes. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me that you hadn't won, you know, four national championships and 15 regional championships. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for a good student athlete. And I use the word student in front of athlete because that's what they are. And I'm looking for someone that is coachable. You know, yes, sir. No, sir. Uh, that goes a long ways uh, when I'm recruiting a student. But a, you can you can tell when you shake hands with a, with a young person and and uh, talk to them what kind of person they are. Mm -hmm. So um, at the combine, you know, one of the things I'm suggesting to, to all the combine anglers is, you know, naturally a, a lot of anglers may be intimidated or shy, may not come up to you um, or, you know, you know, and, and I, I'm telling them to go up there and, and introduce yourself, make yourself known, ask for a business card, you know, stay in contact with that coach, especially if you're interested in, in going to that school. Well, what other, you know, items would you suggest for those anglers to do to, to um, you know, to get themselves recognized and, and, and let them know that they're interested in, in your organization? Well, you hit the nail right on the head when you said stay in touch. You know, I tell all the kids that I take a look at that I'm interested in, to stay in touch with me, to send me pictures of fish they catch, to send me, uh, you know, any tournament that they've been involved in and let me know uh, how they done uh, and, and therefore give me a chance to get to know them better. And once, you know, once time comes for them to possibly be signed, then I know a lot about that student athlete. Unfortunately, none of us coaches can go watch that student perform in high school except maybe for a national championship or something just because you know we're out here competing uh pretty much at the same time they are in a lot of these tournaments and so their resume i have each one of them fill me out a resume and it doesn't have to be professional but i want them to do it i don't want mom and dad to do it uh but i want them to fill it out and give me in their own words uh their feelings toward their fishing career Oh, that's awesome, Coach. All right. I, I like that. You know, I think it's more personal, and, and I think you tell a lot about a person, you know, just by them communicating with you, like you said earlier. So, you know, I, I know you said you probably don't know much about the the official events, um, and, and I'm sure Hank Weldon has a lot of that information. But, you know, uh, there's a lot of skill sets that are going to be on, on Saturday, um, October 16th. You know, they're going to be doing, you know, casting accuracy, not tying, you know, um, how much importance is that to you? Because you said earlier, uh, you, you said earlier that, you know, it, the, the person himself, you know, is, is the main thing. Because I don't want all these anglers, well, I don't know how to tie this knot or I don't, can't do this. I don't want them to feel like, you know, they're not in competition. Yeah, each one of them are. Uh, you know, in competition, the sad part about what all of us coaches do is we can only take about, you know, six or eight students per year. Uh, you know, each student needs to kind of figure out for his own self or herself why he thinks he would be a great fit for Bethel University or for any other college and personify that to the coach. Uh, you know, I'm looking for a six to eight really good student athletes that are great anglers. I'm looking for kids that already know how to drive a truck and a boat to a des destination that can back a boat, run a boat, read a depth finder, find fish, but are also willing to learn, uh, you know, from our older anglers and from myself. Uh, I'm not really looking for uh, Michael Jordan, uh, but I'm looking for a, a lot of Scotty Pippins, you know, uh, okay. super okay. superstars become superstars as they grow, uh, but they have to be molded and, and formed into, into that, you know, and what, at whatever level they are. 
Now there are some kids out there in high school right now that uh, could walk onto a college team and immediately start fishing. I have a little different program than, than most in the fact that I treat my program just like any other sport on campus. I have a varsity team and a junior varsity team and every one of my kids come in on my junior varsity team, but every one of my students get to fish from the, from the time they get there. Uh, they all get to compete. I've won several uh, regional championships with, with freshmen on my team. And also I've had a lot of freshman anglers and sophomore anglers fish national championships. So everyone on my team gets to fish and everyone gets to compete. And when we win a national championship, everyone gets a ring. That's awesome. That's great coach. So, you know, I, I really have two, two last questions here for you. And, and, and really it's after the combine, what should anglers expect? Um, you know, after the combine? Well, number one, I don't want anglers to be disappointed if a coach doesn't pick up the phone and call them. It's up to that angler to get in touch with that coach, uh, especially if him and the coach have hit it off. Uh, the students that I'm wanting to recruit will get my phone number uh, and my email address, and they will be able to contact me. Once again, I've only got room for so many. Now, this upcoming year, I'm going to be recruiting a pretty big class, probably 10 to 12 anglers. So there's more opportunity to come to Bethel than there has been in, a, in the past couple of years. Just because I graduated a big class this past year, I graduated nine students, counting the two that's going to graduate in December of this year. So I'm looking to fill a, a, a huge void, but I'm looking for the cream of the crop. And uh, uh, if you come to Bethel University, I'll make one promise to you that by the time you're a senior, everybody in the fishing industry will know your name uh, and they'll know who you are. That's awesome. So my, my, my last question is, is that, you know, when it comes to signing, do you, uh, you know, because I'm not in, in this, you know, in the college realm, when do, you, when do you have the ability to sign somebody or when should a college student, um, in effect, kind of, you know, when should they expect to sign with a college? Well, I, I've signed kids in the 10th grade. You know, there's really no, there's really no uh, limitations to when I can sign a kid. I don't usually like to sign a kid. Now, I might be looking at a kid that's in the 8th or ninth grade for the future, but I really don't like to sign them until they're in the 11th or 12th grade. However, I'll be recruiting them. If I really like a student, I'm going to be recruiting him from the time he's in the 10th grade on up you know uh, when I say recruiting him I'm going to be in touch with him and he's going to be in touch with me we're going to be conversing about you know him coming to Bethel University and uh, and getting to know each other and then then when the time is appropriate I will sign him uh, sometimes I'm able to go to their school and sign them at their school or they're able to come up and sign at Bethel so, so uh, one way or another we'll get them signed and we'll get them taken care of where they can come to Bethel University and be a part of the uh, Bethel University bass fishing program. All right, coach. Well, you know, with that said, um, you know, I'm getting ready to close this out. Is there any last thoughts or comments you'd like to make before we end uh, the Zoom? Well, you know, the number one thing is to remember that you're coming to any of these schools to get an education and it's education first and fishing secondary and learn that prior to getting to school because if you wait until you get to college to learn that it's going to be tough on you but uh because there's certain rules and guidelines that we all have to go by uh from our athletic department in each and every school so learn to manage your time and get your schoolwork done first and reward yourself with going fishing all right coach well thank you uh, you know thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to kind of give us an overview on this recruiting process the combine. Um, I want to wish uh, Bethel University and yourself the best of luck uh, this upcoming season. I look forward to seeing you at the combine here in Decatur. And, um, and, and I hope, that, well, I know Alabama Bass Nation anglers will impress you. And um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm sure there are several anglers that are kind of looking at your school. And um, like I said, I just want to wish you guys the best. And, and I hope uh, the combine is a great success. Man, thank you so much for having us and for uh, supporting Bethel University, and we look forward to seeing you guys there. Oh, get ready, family.